Hey, this is Dave with OC Astronomy. I'm in the uh, dome tonight and I wanted to do a quick video and a shout out to Rodolfi. His, uh, his website is RTI Zone and uh, he does a lot of the construction work for the ASCOM drivers for Next Dome and he does the X2 driver for Next Dome for uh, the Sky X. He also does several other drivers. He has some other software packages. Um, so let me let me give you his exact website here in just a second. I'll look it up just to be sure. But anyway, um, he had a post on uh, Cloudy Nights helping out another Next Dome user, and I happened to piggyback off it. So um, I wanted to uh, give it a try. And what what I did was um, I have an AAG Cloud Watcher. I don't have the Next Dome rain sensor. The rain sensor is a very sensitive and very good uh, rain sensor that will immediately tell your dome to close if it detects even a dr little bit of drizzle. But I have the AAG Cloud Watcher and it can also do something uh, along those lines. What it does is it has, <laughs> that sounded like, <laughs> along those lines, we need some cowbell and then we can go along those lines. Anyway, um, so, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, so the AAG Cloud Watcher has a relay in it and the, uh, the, the, the box, if it detects an over threshold on wind, uh, rain, uh, sun, or clouds, it will, you can set it, depending on what you wanna do, to close that relay. And then what you do is it just gives you two wires and collect, connecting that relay just connects those two wires together so you can do whatever your imagination uh, desires. Well, Rudolfe had, uh, had answered to somebody that you could indeed connect those to, as a rain sensor uh, analog or a rain sensor stand-in uh, for your next dome. And I'll turn the uh, camera around here and show you uh, how, how he said to do it. And I've confirmed that it does work. So uh, thank you very much, Rudolfi. So here is his website, rti-zone.org, and here's some of the stuff that he does. He works with uh, X2 plugins for the Sky X. He does stuff for domes. He does stuff for mounts. He writes a lot of ASCOM stuff. Um, the guy does a, a bunch. So uh, he's also a fan of astronomy, so shout out to him there. Um, he's probably a pretty good observer if, he, if his software is... Uh, skills or anything like his observing skills I, I bet he's pretty good so anyway uh shout out to rti zone go go to him if you have any kind of driver needs and stuff he's not an official he's not an official next dome employee i want to make that clear he's providing ascom stuff uh drivers and plugins and things um there is a professional that does the actual ascom driver for next dome and if you have any troubles with um your actual ASCOM stuff, that's all on GitHub. And you can go to github.com and look up uh, Next Dome, and they've got all the official Arduino driver stuff, the firmware. Um, what what Rodolfi does is he's connected the X2 driver, which is to use the, uh, the Sky X. So that's what I'm using, and I really appreciate it. Um, so anyway, what he said to do was um, in here, uh, you'll see maybe a bad solder job but i literally had to dust off my soldering iron it's uh it's been a little while i am an electrical engineer so you can criticize me and make fun of me all you want to um you should probably put a header there you see how this is a header and you can just stick the wires in it um i was just using some long speaker cord uh to connect up um the other end of it is is in the, the wire bundle there so the um, the AEG Cloud Watcher provides a uh, a USB connection, and uh, it's it's via a serial uh, port right there, and then right there in that little bundle, like a snake ate a rat, that's uh, where I connected up my speaker wire, and then ran that back this way. Um, be, the reason is it's all the the original two wires are inside this wire that runs to the AAG, so it outputs by that DV9. So you kind of have to wire it up yourself and run a wire if you're going to be, if your PC is anywhere different from where your, your connection is. 
I suppose you could probably have something like an AAG Dragonfly right over there next to the computer and then you would you would be running another two set of wires off the Dragonfly. In this case we're just connecting directly to the two wires. So they come over here and uh, they just connect they connect to where this header would be. Let me focus here. I'm, I'm probably too close. Come on, focus. Anyway, um, there we go. So it uh, it connects here to what would be the center pin of that connector and ground, and that's whenever the uh, whenever the AAG detects a signal, it closes that that wire connection. So you are grounding the center pin. So you ground the center pin, and then two crucial things. I had to go dig through my supplies a 4.7K resistor and a 100 ohm resistor, or in my case, 220 resistors in parallel, because you gotta work with what you got. But I probably a 220 ohm would have just done the trick by itself, but since he said 100, I tried to get cl as close as I could. So this connects between pin seven and the center pin, and then this, the 4.7 ohm connects between the center pin and five volts. If you follow where this trace goes, it goes to five volts. So it's just, um, when there's uh, nothing on the connection, it helps provide a stable voltage so that it'll read something instead of just leaving that open and floating, which would be a bad idea because it would turn it into an antenna. So this is uh, just how you, you're supposed to do it. If you have the three pin connector, the, uh, the, the header that's on there, then all you would do is slide these two wires into the center and the ground wire um, and you could, you could fasten them down like that is. Um, I did try to provide a little bit of strain relief in there for those two wires and then I'll close up the thing. So I realize I'm, you know, being an electrical engineer, I'm probably pretty dumb to do it that way. I probably should have just waited and bought a header, um, but I wanted to see if I could get it to work. So anyway, um, you connect up the center pin and those resistors and then whenever you uh, have a safe or unsafe signal, it grounds that pin by just closing the relay. So I wanted to demonstrate that here. I have my... Uh, my next dome uh, ASCOM driver set up here and I have my uh, AAG cloud watcher now as you can see I have the cloud watcher if it's clear dry calm and dark then it gives me a safe signal but inside the cloud watcher you can pick what you want so let's just say I, I'm gonna say that even calm I want to send uh, a closed signal so I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit calm and this will turn from safe to unsafe here in just a second. Um, let's watch it uh, update here in a second. Oh, come on. There it goes. Okay. So now it's reporting an unsafe condition. And you'll notice that on this driver uh, window, it's flashing now rain. So the ASCOM uh, driver is reporting a rain signal detected. That's awesome because that means that pin 7 is doing its job. And if I click that back to calm it'll still flash rain for a little bit that'll go safe here in a second and then it the rain signal goes away that is awesome so then let's say that even clear a clear night I want to say is unsafe obviously it's not but I'm gonna call that unsafe and then you get rain it's telling it rain 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 and so what that does is uh, depending on how you have it set up it should automatically close the shutter anytime that you get a signal that says rain. Um, and in this case, what the cloud watcher is going to do is it's going to close that relay and provide a rain signal for any of these unsafe conditions, whether it's cloudy, wet, windy, or light. Um, and then uh, that will report rain and it'll automatically close the shutter. Now, um, I might set this to where it's only the, the worst conditions make it uh, unsafe. Um, but I think I'll probably leave it like this. The reason is um, I also am using Voyager, which is a automation program and Voyager will, you set it up to run a script and if it gets a signal from AAG, it will also attempt to close the dome. But because of the AAG is doing it, uh, reporting straight there on the rain pin, then it's already going to be closing the dome. So I'm going to have to be sure that in my automation software, I de-conflict what the AAG CloudWatcher does automatically now that it's wired versus what I have the Voyager looking for to handle in software. 
Now, the reason why I did this is because uh, there was even a disclaimer in the Voyager software and a disclaimer in the Sky uh, Dome controller that says if you have a uh, if you have a dome, it's probably a really good idea to hardwire this rain sensor in or some kind of sensor in because um, what what will happen is if the PC crashes, then you're out of luck because the PC is no longer Voyager's no longer going to close your dome for you. If I had let's say a software problem, now my Voyager is no longer able to do that and I'm stuck. And so what it should do is now it's hardwired. Uh, it'll close that relay and my uh, my dome is plugged into the ups and it'll detect that signal and it'll automatically close the shutter. At least that's what I'm hoping for. It's a little bit of an extra insurance policy. So shout out again to Rodolfi for posting the information uh, on how to connect that up. Um, he Now this is unofficial. He, did, he didn't tell me, hey Dave, go do this. But, uh, so I want to disclaimer him and tell, you know, he's not an official Nextome employee and this is not official Nextome in instructions, um, but it just so happens to work and so I'm going to use it. So um, I hope that that's lawyerly and safe. I don't want the Nextome people to be mad at him for, uh, for telling anybody that, but uh, the, the internet is out there and, and it's not just him. There's other instructions on how to do something like this out there. So, um, but he gave the clearest instructions. So... I'm going to want to credit him. So anyway, thank you to Next Dome too because this Next Dome controller has been working like a charm and the the uh, battery powered shutter has been working really good uh, except those of you that know when the wind blows a little too strong here in Oklahoma. Anyway, uh, peace out. Hope you have clear skies and uh, good luck everybody. Keep yourself safe.